Hey fam, so today we're going to go ahead and make some salmon bites. I was going to make this the regular way, put it on the stove and saute it, but I'm like, you know what, I've been having a taste for some salmon bites. So we're going to go ahead and make them. I already have the seasonings right here. This is our first time making these today, so we're going to wing it, of course, what else is new. But instead of breading it with just the regular flour, I'm going to bake them. But you are still going to need some flour you know to be able to do the breading process and then some onion powder don't have any lemon pepper but have some of this tahini which is kind of like lemon pepper hot sauce and some old bay <laughs> today the good thing is i don't have to worry about skinning this fish why? Because we're going to cut it up into bite-sized pieces. Tomorrow? This has a vacuum sealed on it, so it keeps it nice and fresh. But still, just make sure you smell it. Make sure it's really still fresh. So normally, we'll scale the fish. But today, we're not going to do all that. We're just going to go ahead and peel it right off. Because this recipe, we're not going to need the skin. But I'm going to keep the skin because I'm probably going to give it to the dog. Give it to Barbie. I'm going to use a knife. But it's coming off really easy without the knife. But So I've only tried the salmon bites one time. We went out to eat. Me and Daddy. And the place that we had them was a well-known you know, restaurant where they have good high quality food. But I don't know. I just didn't like the taste of them. I thought it was going to be a lot better how everybody raves about them. And I think it's because they were fried. So it kind of like was harder on the outside than I anticipated. So I'm going to try to do it a different way. Which is why I'm going to put them in the oven with some panko. And hopefully they'll have a more like crispier texture versus that fried hard like hush puppy texture. I don't know. But let me know how you guys like them. If that's something that, you know, you order as an appetizer when you go out to restaurants. If you see them on the menu. As you can see, I'm still taking the skin off. It's coming off really easily. And I'm not even putting a knife on it. I'm kind of like just holding a knife as a guide. And then just pulling the skin back. And look, I know y'all probably wondering what that dang on cake is behind there. But don't worry about that today. Y'all make sure y'all check out the video. It's coming soon. We just made it. So I don't want to tell you exactly what flavor it is just yet. Just stay tuned, okay? Now I got the salmon rinsed off. And again, these are going to be bite-sized pieces. So you don't want to have them too thick, okay? So what I'm going to do is just slice them first. And this is kind of like how we did our beef wellington bites. So I'm not sure by the time you see this video if that's going to be out yet. But I'm just going to slice them into little slices first. Alright, and then from here, you can turn it over so that way you can really see what you're doing. Or how big the pieces are going to be. Don't make them too small because you want to be able to just have a good bite once you bite into them. I wanted to do something different today versus just the regular, you know, frying it on the stove or putting it in the oven. Why is it so big? Because it's a bite size. But that doesn't look like enough. That looks like free for everybody. Well, it's not going to be enough for everybody, but it's going to be enough for everybody to taste it. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to spread them out some. And then I want to go ahead and season them up. I'm going in first with the Obey. And y'all know Obey is or can be salty, so just be mindful of how much you add. 
I think that was another thing too. <clears throat> when I had tasted it, it was a little bit on the saltier side. So I'm gonna add a little bit of hot sauce. That I add a little bit of dimension, although I'm not even supposed to be eating hot sauce. So hopefully, you know, it dies down once we cook it. But that's gonna add another little flavor to it. It's fish, so when you're frying fish, any other time, you know, that good old hot sauce is gonna go up on there and some onion powder. So you're pretty much going to season it how you like your fish first, okay? So whatever you like to put on your fish, that's what you're going to do. That's going to be the first step. And then, like I say, this tahini is like lemon pepper. So that's pretty much what I've been using it for since I don't have any. And I haven't been buying any actual lemon pepper because we have two bottles of this that the kids bought from Costco's. And I want to use it up. And it don't taste no different. I mean, it has... It has like a little slight difference, but for the most part, it's a bunch of citrus in here, okay? And I use a good amount of that. As far as the garlic, I don't even think we have any more garlic powder. Look, this would be a recipe that I'll need garlic for. Okay, well, we're going to skip the garlic for today, but definitely when you make yours, add some garlic to it, y'all. Okay. I'm just going to add a little bit of oil to this so that way I can mix these seasonings all on the salmon because they're going to be a little dry. You need something to be able to massage them seasonings in with. So I'm going to take two bowls. I really need three because one is going to be for the egg. And this is a large egg, so I'm only going to use one. I'm really just going to need it to, you know, just, um, uh -uh. Right, and then this bowl is going to be our flour mixture. Because you got to have the salmon to stick to something. And this is seasoned flour also. This is the one that we always use. We showed it to you plenty of times. So I'm going to start out with a little bit. I don't want to waste all of my stuff. And this is going to be for the breadcrumbs. And this is the Italian style breadcrumbs. Meaning it's already seasoned with like oregano and um, different herbs. So I can see the colors in it already. So that'll make it nice and pretty. I want to make sure I have enough of that. And then preheat your oven to 400. Again, I said we're going to bake these. Because if I fry the panko... This panko fries really fast, and I don't want it to burn, and then all those little particles is going to be all in the grease, and I don't feel like dealing with all that. So I feel like baking it would be a better option, and I'm thinking that the 400 degrees would be a high enough temperature without having to dry the fish out too. So we're going to find out, y'all. Let's go ahead and whisk this egg up. Okay, so the egg is mixed up, and this carefully roll your seasonings around. You know this salmon is real delicate because, you know, it's raw. So we don't want it to break up on us. So, so, so as soon as you get it mixed in, that's good. And I'm just going to grease this pan because I don't want to do all this work and then they end up sticking at the end. So the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and drop the pieces of salmon into the flour. And like I said, this is gonna help everything else stick. So once you do that, you wanna drop it in your egg and then drop it in your panko, y'all. Ooh, ooh. And then from here, just give it a little shake. That's the oven heating up and then put it right on in. Oh, it's gonna look good, y'all. Repeating the process. You don't need a lot of flour. Just like tap it lightly, honestly, cause you don't want to have too much breading on here. The main thing is we want a light little dusting cause you don't want that breading to be too thick when you're just eating all breading and not enough of the salmon. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what I'm saying. And this is a good size bite. I mean, we could have probably broke this up into two, but it's all right. So I'm gonna show y'all one more and then I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of them done so we can get them in the oven. Get them in the oven. And this is fun to make, especially anything dealing with like a assembly line. 
and I already had those breadcrumbs up in the cabinet so those came in handy didn't have to buy anything I mean as far as like this part it looks like a cookie mm -hmm. a crumble looking cookie all right y'all so I'm gonna be back once we done the rest of them this is how much egg we have left that was just enough just enough flour and then I still had a little bit of the the breadcrumbs left so I had to change the pan for two reasons one the other one just wasn't big enough and then the second reason was because if we're putting these in the oven I wanted to make sure that they was going to have enough air to be able to circulate around the whole thing because it's breaded so I went with this little rack here I'm gonna put it underneath I'm gonna put it under a sheet tray but they look good y'all they look like little chicken nuggets yeah, they do and you see how many it made so i don't have a actual pan that fits this because this actually goes in our air fryer i'm just stealing it put this in your air fryer too like if i wanted to right now i could put these in the air fryer but i want to try them in the oven first so i'm just going to lay it yeah, this way it so it's just sitting up here and then that way the air can still go underneath of them. So I'm going to bake these on 400 for about, I'll say, 8 minutes first. And then I'll check them and then give them another 2 minutes if I need to. So we're going to shoot for 8 to 10 minutes, y'all, on 400. Let's see what we come up with. So for the sauce, Daddy has been buying this creamy Chesapeake cocktail sauce. It's so good. So I'm just going to put this in a bowl really not a lot in here and then you can use this as a dipping sauce really don't have too many choices to make our own right now so i'm just going to use what we have in the refrigerator today but the next time make sure we have enough ingredients where we can you know come up with our own little concoction but Ooh. Ooh. It looks nice and crispy. Alright, so we have to do a couple of tests. I had it in there first for eight minutes and then I tested it by just squeezing it a little bit and seeing if it was done and it still felt a little squishy. So I put it on another four minutes. So now we're going to go ahead and test it. It looks like they are, you know, done. Let's see. So that's the little scratch test because <laughs> i don't think we want them you know too crispy where they are hard so now let's break one open i'm gonna break one of the thickest ones open just to make sure it's done on the inside because normally when i'm making my fish i only cook it for about eight to ten minutes eleven if it's like really thick so it's done all the way through y'all see that so let's see I want to taste that piece with the sauce. Mm. I want to taste hot. that piece with the sauce. So it's done all the way. Let's go ahead and plate them up. So I just put them in this little bowl right here. I'm just going to go ahead and just stack them up in here. You're getting fancy today. Yeah. So this is like a little fun treat. Say, so depending on how crispy you want them, it's going to be like fish. Depending if you want them fried hard or soft, you just choose your pick. But I don't want to make them like too crispy. All right. And then just to be a little extra, just and fancy. Yeah, top it with some parsley flakes. And again, it only has the parsley flakes in there. But in case you want to add a little bit more. Next time, I'm going to try these in the air fryer and see how they taste that way. So, let me get a picture real quick. Hold on, y'all. Tell the girls to come in. All right, so let's go ahead and dip. Mm. Yeah, y'all, that sauce. Look how creamy that sauce is. On that salmon bite. 
I'm sure daddy she want? doesn't want to taste one. Okay. I'm going to see if daddy want to taste one. But this is really good, you guys. Go ahead and try this recipe. They're so rich. Let us know if this is something that you will make quick and easy, straight to the point, especially for all the fish lovers. And we'll see y'all back for the next video because you never know what's coming up next. Bye.